So you've tried to learn how to juggle a football, but until this point, all your attempts have come up short. You've watched countless YouTube videos, but you still struggle to string together even a few juggles. Maybe your teammates laugh at how bad your juggling is. If this sounds like you, don't worry, because in today's video, I will share with you all the tips and drills you need to go from no juggles to well over 100 and on your way towards 1,000 plus juggles. But first, we need to go to the beginning of the journey. Before we begin practicing our juggling, there are two crucial points we need to go over, and they are number one, making sure your toe is pointed forward when contacting the ball and not pointed up. This will ensure a clean and consistent connection with the ball that will allow you to keep the ball in the air. Point number two is making sure your foot is extending when making connection with the ball and not bent like in this example here. It's important to note here that you don't want your legs fully straight like shown on screen now as this will make it harder to juggle. You want just a slight bend of the standing foot to keep it relaxed and bouncy. Another few common mistakes I see is that players aren't making contact with the center of the ball or the foot. If you don't kick through the middle of the ball, it will go all over the place and make it very difficult to string together any juggles at all. And you'll spend your time chasing after the ball. Tip number one, drop juggles. The first step to learning how to juggle a football is by practicing drop juggles. You do this by dropping the ball from your hands and kicking it back up and catching it and repeating the same on your other foot. This is an easy way to get a feel for the right technique when juggling. Pay attention to how hard you kick the ball. The more you practice, the better you will feel that touch of the ball. Tip two, bounce juggles. After we've got a feel for the technique of kicking the ball, we can now move on to bounce juggles. This is where we can start stringing together a good few juggles with a bounce in between each one. This is one of the ways my dad taught me when I was learning how to juggle many years ago. I still remember getting so excited when I broke 100 bounce juggles for the first time. So practice getting those reps in with the bounce juggles and you will be one step closer to learning how to juggle. Make sure to use both feet. Using only your good foot is a common mistake I see so many players make and this limits their longer term juggling improvement because they end up having to learn how to juggle with their weak foot from scratch, when they could have learnt it at the same time and instantly increased their juggling records. Tip three, full juggles. Now it's time to combine everything you've learned and move into full normal juggling. Drop the ball from your hands and try to juggle using both feet as many times as you can. Try to keep the ball close to you so you don't even have to move while juggling. Tip number four, learn the flick up. The next thing to learn in our juggling journey is the flick up. So we can stop using our hands to start juggling. This is quite a simple process, but it does take some time to get the hang of. You will start with the sole of your foot on the ball in front of you and then roll the ball backwards towards your body. As the ball is coming towards you, get your toes underneath the ball and flick it up in the air as shown on screen now. If you don't get it at first, don't worry about it. We all started at the same point you are at right now. And if you stick with it, you'll be able to flick the ball up effortlessly in no time and even move on to some more advanced flick ups. <sighs> Tip number five, thigh juggling. Now that we can flick the ball up and juggle it, we can also start throwing in some thigh juggles. Most people actually find these easier than juggling with your feet, but it's important to get the foundational skills down before moving on to something like juggling with your thighs. The important thing to note here is to make sure your thigh makes contact with the ball when your knee is at 90 degrees with your body. If your leg is too low, the ball will go away from you. And if it is too high, the ball will go into your body, making it very hard to string together multiple thigh juggles. You want to make contact with the ball in this sweet spot so that the ball goes straight up and you don't even have to move off the spot. The Maradona 7 Challenge. Okay, so by now you're becoming quite the juggling expert. So that's why I've set a challenge for you to work towards. It's called the Maradona 7, because this is what Maradona famously did in his signature warm-ups before games. The challenge is simple, in theory at least. Take seven touches without the ball dropping, right foot, right thigh, right shoulder, head, left shoulder, left thigh, and left foot. Alternatively, it can also be done right foot, left foot, right thigh, left thigh, right shoulder, left shoulder, and head. By far the hardest part of this for me and most players who attempt this is the shoulder touches. And this just takes time to get the feeling for it. All right, that's enough talking about it. Now it's time for you to put in the work. But before you leave, I'll give you some extra tools for the journey. The first one being to set the goal of beating your juggling record every single day in the beginning of your journey. The start is the most exciting part as this is when you can improve your juggling record quite fast by tapping into those newbie gains. Remember, juggling is a skill like any 
anything else. It will feel frustrating at times and it might seem impossible when things aren't working out. But if you stick with it and stay consistent with your practice, trust me, you will break through and you'll be juggling like the pros in no time. And then you can even start learning some freestyle tricks like the ones you see on social media. All right, now is the time to make your next move on the chessboard of life. Choose wisely, my friend.